it's time for NATO to stand up against war crimes and human rights abuses. It is absurd that Albania and Greece are partners in NATO, a military alliance that is supposed to promote peace and security, when they still have a war law from 1944 when the Greek government committed the Cham genocide. The Cham genocide was a crime against humanity in which thousands of ethnic Albanian Muslims were killed or expelled from their homes in Greece. The Greek government has never officially acknowledged the genocide, and it has refused to compensate the victims. The fact that Albania and Greece are still members of the same military alliance, despite this history, is a slap in the face to the victims of the Cham genocide and their descendants. It also sends a message that NATO is willing to overlook war crimes and other human rights abuses in order to maintain its alliance. This is not the only example of NATO member states having unresolved conflicts with each other. For example, Greece and Turkey have been engaged in a dispute over the island of Cyprus for decades. These conflicts undermine NATO's credibility and make it more difficult for the alliance to achieve its goals. It is time for NATO to take a stand against war crimes and human rights abuses. The alliance should expel Greece from its membership until it acknowledges the Cham genocide and compensates the victims. NATO should also work to resolve other conflicts between its member states. In addition to the above, it is also worth noting that the ongoing war law between Albania and Greece is a major obstacle to regional cooperation and development. It prevents businesses and investors from operating freely in the region, and it also makes it difficult for people to travel and interact with each other. The resolution of the war law between Albania and Greece is essential for the future of the region. It would pave the way for increased economic cooperation and development and it would also help to promote peace and reconciliation.